What up, what up, world? It's your homeboy, Wordplay TJ. Uh, this time around, I'm going to talk to you about how to upload your catalog to Sound Exchange. Stay tuned. All right, so I saw this in search, so I thought that people might want to uh, have this video. So um, this is how you upload your um, rep sheet which is basically a list of your songs and uh, information metadata from your songs to go to sound exchange so they can collect royalties on your behalf. Uh, most of these royalties are performance royalties, but there's also a master recording royalty that that's collected on two sides. So you have two sheets, the artists that perform the song or several artists, if that uh, is applicable. And you have the other side, which is the person that owns the song. So that is a part of that um, that royalty collection. So um, they collect on both sides. So I recommend if you make your own music, then obviously you should go ahead and collect all of what's what uh, all of what's due to you. Um, collect everything that belongs to you so you're not missing out on royalties so if you make your own music you have the master recording side which you own and also you have the performer side that you own if you don't have any featured artists on there so here goes I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna get into this I'm gonna take you step by step so we're not gonna miss anything and if you haven't signed up, uh, if you haven't signed up to Sound Exchange, um, I definitely recommend it. Um, they collect royalties from a lot of uh, digital places, so Pandora, iHeart Music, um, the list goes on. Any that anything that's a digital sort of radio station, they collect from. Um, so log in here. All right, so cool. I'm on my. Uh, page and now what I want to do is go to my catalog and I want to submit new stuff but before I do that I have to uh, work on this Excel document so basically I have to create a document for um, for both the owner and the performer so the owner is my company on the map music group so I'm gonna go get one of those sheets so upload new and here it is repertoire submission for the rights owner so go ahead and download that sheet and you'll need some type of excel um, software if you don't have microsoft word or um, not microsoft word but microsoft office then what i recommend you do is go ahead and uh, use like Google Docs or something like that something that's available to you so you can manipulate this this document um, and you can easily download it and then upload it to Google Docs um, if you don't have access to a computer go to a library something like that like don't make excuses just make steps all right so the other sheet is the artist sheet so I'm just gonna click that even though that's not my artist profile and then I'm gonna go there and grab that all right so here we go so I already have these sheets so I'm gonna actually go into my own and just update that with a new song all right so here's my my rights owner sheets for, uh, for on the map music group and I'm gonna start by bringing that to that side and I'm going to open up distro kit because that is where my songs are registered and what I care about is this last song that I have on the list called outside so I have all my metadata here on this side and I should have everything so yeah I'm up to date uh, the only one that I don't have is outside so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in so as you can see, it has the name of the master recording owner, which is on the map music group, the payee name, name which is mine, um, and the payee ID, which is attached to on the map music group. So if you look at my account here, 
That's the payee ID and it should match that. So you'll fill that out first and then you'll start filling out these columns and these columns go all the way across. And I'm gonna take you through every single one of those columns so you're not confused about anything. So let's start with the artist first. This is the main performer, which is usually you. Um, now, for example, here I have Icarus Gray because this master recording is partially a part of this label. So we did a 50-50 split on the master recording and so Icarus Gray's portion is on my master recording list. He has to submit an other, uh, another document for his side of the 50%. So let's just focus on this new song and we'll go from there. All right, so wordplay TJ. Awesome, that's automatically filled in there. The song is called Outside. Um, the album version. So usually it's like either explicit or um, clean version. Um, so now I recommend that if you have clean versions to your work, upload both versions to all streaming sort of sites and then be sure to collect on both versions because then you can just double your revenue without even having to do anything extra you not you're not making any extra music you're just cleaning it up and then you double your revenue so this one is a clean version but i'll just say standard version anyway because that's how i usually cat categorize my my things and it's up to you how you want to do yours all right so first i want the upc so my upc is here from distro kid I'm just going to type that in. Cool. Catalog number. Now that's up to you if you want to have a catalog number for yours. As a matter of fact, I want to start creating catalog numbers for all of my work. So what I'm going to do is go up here and create a catalog ID OTM. Zero, 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 one. And then I'm gonna drag this all the way down and it should fill in all of that, those numbers for me. All right, so I have catalog numbers for those, which is awesome because that'll keep me from um, going crazy. And I can always reference those catalog numbers. Now, a few of those catalog numbers are wrong according to what I have on some of the, the products, but I can always change the product catalog number. So it's not a big deal. Um, so release date, release date is the day that it hit the stores. So release date was December 29th. So this one's recent. If you want to check out this song, um, I'll put a link in the bio for it. Twenty nine, twenty eight, seventeen. On the Map Music Group is the marketing label. Um, this did not come into like a disc set. It's track one of one. Here's my ISRC code. So usually that's that's the ID of your specific song. And it's very important to have that because it helps uh, places identify your music without them having to really like dig into extra stuff. It's it's sort of like the um, it's sort of like a fingerprint for a song. So song titles outside standard version again track artist wordplay TJ. If there was a featured artist or somebody else was featured on that song, they would put their name there. Um, track timing, I'm not worried about that. Explicit, no. Where is it? I'm gonna find out real quick. No, it's not. Hip hop is a genre. Recording date, I usually put whenever I uploaded it, so. 26, 
2017. Tacoma, Washington. First date of release. There again, 29, 27. Country, United States. P line. Uh, so that's usually like published by On the Man Music Group. So yeah. Composer was myself, Terry. L. Johnson, and that's so they can reference it in um, the like the ASCAP BMI database. Uh, publisher again, uh, as you can see here, the song that was uh, featured with Icarus Gray um, has two publishing companies, so On the Map Entertainment and No Response Necessary. Um, but down here, it's just my publishing company, so On the Map. Entertainment ASK. Master recording owner, as you can see, we split that. It's gonna be on the map music group. Collection des designee, if different from the master recording owner, it's not different, so I just usually put NA. Percentage claim, so as you can see here, when I split. Uh, master recording royalties with Icarus Gray. It's 50 up here. Um, that's only if it's less than 100. So if it's not less than 100, then just skip it. Collection date 12, 29, 2017. Uh, end date, I never put anything here because it's not important. If uh, somebody at Sound Exchange sees this and they think it's more important, then definitely let me know. But there's no end date collect my royalties please um and then collection territory of collection rights so the world like i want to collect every country that i can possibly collect on so that's it so i'll save that and then i will open the other one which is there it is. Is this the right one? Yeah. So my I'll open up my artist document. And my artist document pretty much has the same thing. It's just a little bit different. Um, so this artist document has the same like information up at the top. It just depends on whether or not you have a company name or not whether or not that's going to be different than your real name. Um, usually it's not, but um, I have a company. So the other, the master recording is under on the map music group. And this is under my name, um, which it really doesn't matter because the accounting is the accounting is the accounting <laughs> for both myself and the company. So we're good. All right. So I'm going to start filling this in for the artist part this is the performer on the song that you're registering right now so the performer is the artist is me or play tj song is outside album title is just outside you can say single if you want marketing label on the map music group percentage of the feature art claim so here we go so this is this is the thing so i did this song link up with my brother profit and i claim 50 percent and he claims the other 50 percent on his performer claim since there's no other featured artist on here i'm claiming 100 percent of the performance master recording of this um so let's see what this actually says before we go here so this says do you own the master recording of this track yes or no in this situation on the map music group owns it which i own on the map music group but um i'm giving it to the company so the company can use that revenue um so this would be a no um in your case most of the time it would be a yes and then it says, if yes, what percentage? Well, obviously it's a no, so it's gonna be 0%. Collection designee, 
If no, are you authorized to collect? No, that's because um, on the Mad Music Group is going to collect. Collection dates begin, and that is the date of release. 17. What does this say? End date. I never do anything with that standard version. Um, there we go again. ISRC code. And if you want to save yourself some time, you can usually just like copy and paste from the other document. But um, I've I'm pretty quick at this, so it, it doesn't really bother me. Let me do that one more game. Eight four zero zero nine. I must have been missing something. Um, so there, the release date. Coma Distro Kid is where I distribute it. Publisher on the map, Entertainment under ASCAP, and the rest is history. So I will save this, close both of these documents, make sure that they're saved, close that one, and then we go back to here on the map music group. That's the rights owner. I'll select the file. The file that I want is is this one. Upload. Bam. If it's the wrong format, it'll let you know what you need to change. And if something's missing, it will also let you know that um, you need to change it. So I want to do my performer one. So upload new. This is the artist one. Select the file. Wordplay TJ. Boom. Upload. And that's it. So. So if you have any questions, you have any concerns, you have any comments, let me know uh, down in the comment section and I will do my best to be able to answer those questions and then give you back a response that may help you or point you in the right direction. So other than that, be sure to subscribe and then tell somebody about this if you think they need to know it. Until next time, this is your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace.